Welcome to My Summer Practice Journal, week number 11. This is officially the second to last week of the My Summer Practice Journal series, so if you have not yet done so, please subscribe down below. If you were here last week, you'd know that I'm very busy these last few weeks of the summer teaching a lot of marching band at my old high school, so I'm trying to keep my goals fluid. I want to continue work on the core number 24 since we didn't get the tempo completely there last week. And then in terms of quartet, I want to finish the first movement of the Dyson Clo, and then also continue work on Converging Spectrums by Kevin Day. And then with the Bulkham Concert Suite, I want to finish up that first movement, and then if I have time, maybe get to the second movement, but we'll see. I hope you enjoy, let's get started. To start off things, as usual, I went with some mouthpiece exercises. The tendency with these for me is to bite a little bit. That's just a little bit too much pressure on the bottom lip and it sometimes squawks, but I'm working on it, so it's progress. I also noticed that I tend to stick my neck out a little bit when I'm doing these and I should probably work on that. You want to keep the same posture as if you were playing the whole saxophone. If you haven't guessed it already, I then went on to play some sonorities from the 28 Day Warm Up book, which again, if you haven't been here in previous weeks, this is a warm up book for flute and you can buy it online. If I remember, I will try and link it down below. The next thing I did today was play through the two different whole tone scales. These scales I hardly ever work on and I should probably do a little bit more, but I was just trying to get a little bit of a refresher for myself, um, just because it's good to, good to know them and keep them up. Um, I did different articulation patterns and then also different tempos. I didn't end up finishing the core number 24 last week. I didn't get it to the tempo that I would have liked, and so I'm pushing it over to this week. Hopefully we can be done with that by the middle of the week, and I just need to really speed it up. The thing that I worked on today was just this little chunk towards the, the end of it on the back page, uh, something that's just a little bit more tricky to me, and so I sped this section up um, in order to prepare speeding the rest of it up tomorrow. Um, just so that that process is a little bit easier. I then played through some Bulkum at a slow tempo still. The goal for this week is to get through the whole rest of the first movement. There's some tricky altissimo stuff that uh, is coming up. Because this whole process of recording this stuff is to be transparent, here is one take of this. It obviously doesn't sound the best, and I kind of squawk on some of the altissimo stuff, but this just shows progress, and that's the whole point of all of this. So, hard work gets progress. I always try and turn the volume down on these mouthpiece sections, uh, hopefully it's not too loud. If you don't work through long tones with a drone, I highly suggest it. It trains your ear like nothing else will, and especially in high school, ear training is not really something that we really work on here in Texas, and we're always used to slapping on the tuner and using our eyes to tune, so getting used to using your ears to tune is better. I've kind of been slacking in the recent weeks with the double tonguing. I got to a point that I was pretty happy with, but my overall consistency has gone down, which has caused my double tonguing to get a little bit worse. I want to kickstart that again, and hopefully these next few days will be better. And then I went through another sonority from the 28 Day Warm Up book just before. Um, going through the entire Lacori 2 number 24. 
in a second you'll hear me doing a full run of that without the metronome and generally I was pretty happy with it. I'm glad it only took uh, two or three days to get it done this week and then that just allows me for the rest of the week to get some more stuff done with quartet. It's one less thing to stress about. Moving on to the Dace and Clow, which I am playing for quartet. That's the first piece we're going to work on and hopefully record. Um, this last few days has just been a lot of writing around fingerings and figuring out the notes for all this stuff. Um, there's a lot of 6-8 to 4-4 four, four, with the eighth note staying the same. So this first movement has been pretty straightforward and I'm excited to get on to the second movement once I'm done with this. As per usual, some more mouthpiece exercises. Today I wasn't sure what I wanted to use to warm up a little bit since I didn't have a whole ton of time, so I decided to just go back to the basics, went through some major scales since I hadn't done those in a little while, and they're always fun to, to bring back out and see where I'm at with those. A lot of my time goes to working on the harder scales like thirds and fourths in the harmonic minor keys, but going back to major scales every once in a while is good because generally most of the stuff we play is in a major key. So. You may have seen this next thing on Instagram, but I am articulating the first bit of this passage and then doing the actual written articulation pattern just to work on uh, nailing the uh, pitches on a dartboard. Just accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Today I had a lot of marching bands, so I didn't get around to practicing during the middle of the day. So after I got done with the whole thing about 8.30, got home, I pulled out the horn and my parents were already kind of going to sleep. So silent practice it was. I sort of changed up my setup today. I went to TB Wins. There's a video coming out this week more about that. Um, I got a new Ishimori gold plated ligature and I'm trying the Legere Signature 4s, which I really like. Feel free to comment down below and let me know how that sounds. Now that I'm playing soprano and quartet, tuning soprano is something that I really want to focus on. Um, every once in a while I'll play my F sharp with the octave key and it is a little sharp and then I play F sharp without the octave key and it's a little flat. So just finding that middle ground is going to be uh, very helpful when it comes to rehearsals. Alongside the Dace and Clover Quartet, we are also planning on playing Converging Spectrums by Kevin Day and by the end of this week, today is Sunday. So this is the last day. I have officially gotten through all of movement one of Dace and Clo, and pretty much I've learned all of the notes of the converging spectrum, so happy with that. There's a nasty G sharp lick here that is just a pattern from the, the previous few measures, and nailing that G sharp to G sharp leap is gonna be a, a challenge, but we'll get it.
I hope you enjoyed week 11 of my summer practice journal. I will be back next week for week 12 and the final week of the series. I keep thinking about all the work I've put in the summer and how proud I am of myself for doing this whole thing. Um, it definitely hasn't been easy. Sometimes I just have to get the horn out and think of it more as a job rather than something that's 100% fun all the time. And that that's okay. Ultimately, this is a job and all the work is paying off. Keep at the hard work if you're about to start school. I will see you next week. Peace.